हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गाड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एओला स्टूडेंट वो आर लर्निंग द फाइनल ईयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी फ्रॉम दैट वी आर लर्निंग द यूनिट नंबर वन सो फ्रॉम द यूनिट नंबर वन वी हैव डिस्कस सम टॉपिक्स एंड इन द टूडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सो लेट सी विच टॉपिक्स वी हैव सीन सोलर एनर्जी सीनेरियो वी हैव सीन वर्ल्ड एनर्जी फीचर्स वी हैव सीन देन सोलर रेडिएशन एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट वी हैव सीन देन वी हैव सीन वॉट इज द सोलर कॉन्स्टेंट हाउ टू मेजर द सोलर कॉन्स्टेंट दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन नाउ इन द टूडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ डज सोलर पैनल कन्वर्ट सनलाइट इन टू द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाई वी आर यूजिंग द सोलर पैनल टू कन्वर्ट or to extract the energy from the sunlight and convert it into the electricity and to in the today's lecture we are going to see in the detail how that solar panel will convert sunlight into the electricity so without wasting the time let's see how does solar panel convert sunlight into the electricity so here i have shown you one diagram so from that diagram you can easily understand how the solar energy will converted into the electrical energy so solar energy means the energy received from the sun right so here yellow color sun is shown here so what that sun will do that sun will provide us the sunlight and that all of you know sunlight has some photons or bundle of photons all of you understand that so that sunlight is reaching first to the solar panel here three solar panels are shown here blue color all of you are able to see so on that solar panel sunlight will received that means the photons are received so that solar panel what we will do it has the pn junction diodes okay so that pn junction diodes have the electrons and hole sites so what they will do they will extract the photons from the sunlight and they will move the electrons to the higher energy levels and due to that moving of the electron there will be the holes are generated and once that hole are generated over the air due to that there will be the vacancy that means new electron or photon will come in that region that means like that electrons will comes and they will move to the higher energy and the continuous flow of the current will be generated so that current will be direct current and that current will be sent through the controller into the battery bank so so many battery banks are there to store the dc current generated from the solar panel so here battery bank are shown and controller also shown now we know that a dc current battery will store but for our home appliances we required ac current so what we have to do we have to invert that current from dc to ac current and for that purpose we are using the inverter so after the battery panel there will be the inverter so that inverter will convert dc current into the ac current and after that their inverter there will be the meter so how much amount of current voltage is flowing that we can measure and that ac current will directly used by the home appliances that means computers tvs fridge so many household applications all of you understand so that is a simple diagram which will tell us how that solar panel will convert sunlight into the electrical energy all of you understand so let's see in the detail how that's working will done so here silicon is much known semiconductor having the properties of both metals and non metal so silicon plates are there for the solar panel to make a solar panel the silicon is dropped by the pentavalent impurity converting silicon into the positive type silicon also known as p type silicon so as i have shown, uh, told you there will be the pn junction diodes that means p side and n sides are there in the solar panel so that silicon is in the side of p type silicon and similarly other part is converted into the negative or n type silicon that means p type silicon and n type silicon is there as name suggested p type have 
excess of holes that is the positive charge and in it and n type has excess of electrons then these two are combined together one over other up to the atomic level due to their contact and having the opposite charge electrons flows from n type to the p type and holes travels from p type to n type thus creating a thin potential barrier between them that means potential difference will be generated the current so generated from this movement is charges is named as a diffusion current but we need to understand it another things that is due to this potential barriers giving rise to the electric field which flows from the positive charge near n type and negative charge near p type junction this area where potential is generated or emitting area of phi p and n type due to this electric field electrons moves from p type start flowing towards the n type and holes from the n towards the p type giving rise to the current called as a drift current initially the diffusion current is more than the drift current but the potential difference increases due to diffusion it simultaneously increases the drift current the current stop flowing when drift current becomes equals to the diffusion current all of you understand so like that due to the pn junction types of the material there will be the holes and electrons movement and due to that potential difference will be developed the next sunlight travels to the earth in the form of some energy particles called as a photons as i have explained you sunlight means it have the photons these photons strikes p type region and transfer its energy to hole and electron pair thus existing the electron and it gets away from the holes the electric field we have due to the potential difference at p n junction makes its electron to travel to n type region thus causing the current to flow all of you understand that so that is nothing but the solar energy so but there a bit more to know to make this electric field strong enough to that it must travel to n type region and not recombine with the holes it has been separated from that means if that electrons goes back that they, at that time the potential difference will break so to continue the potential difference that should not come back that holes should not come back all of you understand that to make this electric field strong n type and p type region are connected to the negative and positive terminal of the battery that means what they will not go from p to n side well, this process is known as reverse bias condition doing this increases the probability of electron traveling all along the way to n type region once separated from the holes thus increasing the efficiency of the solar panel this increases the efficiency of the solar panel so like that the sunlight will converted into the electrical energy due to the solar panel so as i have explained from this diagram the sunlight will converted into the electrical energy in the three ways first one that solar panel that is nothing but the pn junction that will receives the photons from the sunlight that sunlight will trapped and that will converted into the due to the cells that will converted into the electrical energy and that will stored into the battery from the battery we are inverting the current from dc to ac and we are using the alternate current for our home appliances like that we will get the electric current from the sunlight all of you understand that so student in the today's lecture we have seen in the detail how that solar panel will convert sunlight into the electricity so today we will stop here for the today's lecture next point we will continue in the next lecture
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट